me here to last night I see you the killer you today Mama tell me say our church sister Jacqueline Just lose her run up over see you garden When she tell me she had to know it mash me up not tell a lie But you know some man a buggy so you laugh for sleeping crime Every day and every night she still a act the father of mine Her brother had to die She hear her wife reply say thank you and welcome back to the sword of the spirit show and i am your host and your teacher god's pitbull apostle dr shaolin abrams senior and i just want to thank everyone for continuing to stay with us for this teaching on salvation or or how it's put what is salvation like i said we always have an idea of that once you confess God in your, with your mouth and you, you, you believe in your heart that Christ was raised from the dead, that that's it. But it goes further, uh, further than that. Mm-hmm. We, so this is a time that we take time to study about those things that are not really talked about in the Bible or in, excuse me, not in the Bible, but in the body of Christ. So we started off with about what is salvation to. Um, we know that salvation is to eternal life. And um, I just want to thank everybody for, for sticking with us. And I hope you've been taking notes because it's, this is very powerful. This is, this is stuff that you're not going to get anywhere else. Trust me when I tell you. And we're going to continue on with um, what salvation is to. We know that it's to eternal life, but we also know that salvation is to uh, being part of the body of Christ. Salvation is to being part of the body of Christ because the new birth makes us children of God. Now understand, everybody, every human being on the face of the earth is not a child of God. Only those who accept Christ as a Lord and Savior are a child of God. So our relationship to God by faith in Jesus Christ is that being his child because the spirit himself bears witness with our spirit that we are children of God. Romans chapter 8 verse 16. Amen. And the Bible goes on to say in Galatians chapter 3 verse 26. For you are all sons of God through faith in Christ Jesus. Amen. So salvation makes us sons of God. Now our position in the body of Christ is that being his sons by adoption or the placing of a son in Greek, but both Hebrew and Hebrews and Romans Mm -hmm. legally adopted their own children when they became of age. Mm -hmm. That's why today we still have in the Jewish custom is uh, what they call have a bar mitzvah for the the the, uh, uh, the 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 males and the bar mis the bar mis uh, the bar misha for the uh, young women when they become of age because they adopted and this act imparted to the child who is already related by blood the full privileges and inheritance of the father. These customs are still followed today. But as many as received him, the Bible says, to them he gave the right to become children of God. To those who believe in his name, who were born not of blood, nor of the will of the flesh, nor of the will of man, but of God. John chapter 1, verses 12 and 13. 
But when the fullness of the time had come, God sent forth his son, born of a woman, un born under the law, to redeem those who were under the law, that we might receive the adoption as sons. Galatians chapter 4, verses 4 and 5. But now that we have salvation, what do we do with it? Do we just walk around with it in our pocket? Do we just walk around and saying that, you know, we, 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 we always talk about, hey, man of God, hey, woman of God, and we always want to shik all this kind of stuff. But salvation is to service. <laughs> salvation is to service. And what do I mean by that? We are saved to be a light. We are saved to be a light. The Bible says in Matthew chapter 5, verses 14 through 16, that you are the light of the world, a city that is set on a hill that cannot be hidden, nor do they light a lamp and put it under a basket, but on a lampstand. And it gives light to all who are in the house. Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father in heaven. So our light is to illuminate good works. Our light is to glorify our Heavenly Father. So salvation is to service so that we are to be a light to the world, to be a, a light in a dark place. We are also saved to be sought. The Bible goes on to say in Matthew chapter 5, verse 13, that you are the salt of the earth. But if the salt loses its flavor, how shall it be seasoned? It is then good for nothing but to be thrown out and trampled underfoot by men. And we know that good salt is a preservative. We know that salt is used as a preservative in a lot of things today. But God's people exercise a preserving influence in the world. That's what that preserving is for. Just as Abraham interceded with God on behalf of Lot regarding Sodom and Gomorrah, those cities would have been spared had the Lord just found 10 righteous people there. <clears throat> and we know that the Bible says in Genesis chapter 18, verses 20, it says, And the Lord said, Because the outcry against Sodom and Gomorrah is great, and because their sin is very great, I will go down and now see whether they have done all together according to the outcry against it that, uh, that which has come unto me. If not, I will know. Then the men turned away from there and went towards Sodom. Mm -hmm. But Abraham still stood before the Lord. Mm -hmm. And Abraham came near and said, Would you destroy the righteous with the wicked? Mm -hmm. Suppose there were 50 righteous within this city. Mm -hmm. Would you also destroy the place and not spare for the 50 righteous that were in it? Mm -hmm. Far be it from you to do such a thing as this to slay the righteous with the wicked, mm -hmm. so that the righteous should be as the wicked, far be it from you. Mm -hmm. Shall not the judge of all the earth do right? Mm -hmm. So the Lord said, if I find in Sodom 50 righteous within the city, mm -hmm. then I will spare all the place for their sakes. Mm -hmm. Then Abraham answered and said, indeed now, I who am but dust and ashes have taking upon myself to speak to the Lord. Mm -hmm. Suppose there were five less than the 50 righteous. Mm -hmm. Would you destroy all the city for lack of five? Mm -hmm. So he said, if I find there 45, I will not destroy it. Mm -hmm. And he spoke to him yet again and said, suppose there would be 40 found there. So he said, I will not do it for the sake of 40. Mm -hmm. Then he said, let not the Lord be angry and I will speak. Suppose 30 should be found there. So he said, I will not do it if I find 30 there. And he said, indeed now, if I had taken it upon myself to speak to the Lord, suppose 20 should be found there. So he said, I will not destroy it for the sake of 20. Then he said, let not the Lord be angry. 
and I will speak but once more. Suppose ten should be found there. And he said, I will not destroy it for the sake of ten. Amen. Well, we know how the story goes. There are not even ten found in the city. So God destroyed it. But we know that good salt provides flavoring. Good salt provides flavoring. Now, as disciples of Jesus Christ, we are to add a spiritual dimension by our very presence. Amen. Believers should rejoice when we appear, mm -hmm. and sinners should be very uncomfortable in our midst. Mm -hmm. Because spoiled salt is discarded. Mm -hmm. Now, does this passage mean that a disciple of Christ can somehow lose his salvation? Of course not. Mm -hmm. The Bible is very clear concerning the promise of everlasting life. What it does mean, however, is that a disciple of Christ may lose his influence and testimony with both God and man. Now, please remember this. The Bible phrase of the earth and its implications upon the proper interpretation of this passage of scripture. Because understand, we are also saved to bear fruit. The Bible says in John chapter 15, verse 16, you did not choose me, but I chose you and appointed you that you should go and bear fruit and that your fruit should remain, that whatever you ask the Father in my name, he may give you. Amen. Now, in the fruit bearing business, in bearing fruit, since we're supposed to be first a light in a dark place, yeah. We're supposed to be salt in the earth to preserve or to have that uh, influence over uh, the people of God. Mm -hmm. And then we're supposed to, we're saved to bear fruit. Mm -hmm. The Bible says that we're supposed to try the spirits by the Holy Spirit mm -hmm. and to, uh, 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 you know, um, to, to bear, uh, 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 to, to look at those who, uh, uh, they should be known by the fruit that they bear. But there are five main ingredients mm. to fruit bearing.